In fact, I did want to make a blog about this pain. What yeah, is this? No, I'm gonna send it down. Just, Damn. I'm gonna send it down. It's because I had it. I had it good so what i want to try to show you is just this little issue i'm having with my car it's just idling kind of choppy and i'm thinking i replaced the spark plugs and i checked the coils and they are good so um what i'm gonna go ahead and do and just clean the vanos let me show you what it first sounds like. So let me go ahead and start up the car. So as the RPMs rub, you can see the idle. It's a little Yeah, it's a little choppy. You can't really see it. Maybe you could hear it. But yeah, I just don't like it. As soon as I let it go off the brake, it just feels a little jumpy and stuff. It's nothing major, but it's just, I don't like it. So I'm going to try to attempt to fix this issue by cleaning the Vano solenoids. And if it does, that's great. If it doesn't, I guess it doesn't hurt to clean them. And yeah, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Okay, so first of all, we have to get access to the vanos. They are right there. There is two of them, but there are also two on the other side. And to gain access, we have to remove the intake, which is fairly simple. You have to unclip all the surrounding clips, and you're also going to remove this clamp along with the sensor. And there's another clamp right under. Let me get those out and show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, the air box is now at a side. We don't have to unplug the actual sensor. We could just put it on the side. And now we have to take this out. In order to do so, we're going to grab a 10 millimeter deep socket. And that's to remove the engine cover. And once we remove that, it should give us access to remove this right here. Okay, so engine cover is out. And now it's just this one. That clamp, you could just take it out with either a socket or a flathead screwdriver. And with this one, it should remove this pipe that connects to the air box all right so we just removed that pipe and we have clear access to the vanos on this side and the other side it's a little tight but you can start to see the sensors right there so now what I'm gonna do is just remove this bracket to free up some space and see if that helps out all right, so we just removed this greasy bolt from this bracket. It looks like a vacuum line. And yeah, this one was a 10 millimeter. And now we have more movement here. So we could just put it aside. We see one solenoid, but we can see the other one still hidden under this line. There's also another bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. You can't really see it, but it is there, right there. I'm gonna remove that and see if hopefully that frees up this line and I have access to remove the vanos. Okay, so I just removed this nut that was holding this line in place. As you can see, there's a lot more to mess with now. And yeah, it's not really clear, but there is access on the bottom. So it looks like that same nut was attached to the actual vanos. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take those out I'm gonna go one by one just in case I don't want to mess anything up and make sure when you remove it there's gonna be some o-rings do not drop those because it's kind of a pain if it goes inside the motor or just drop it anywhere else but yeah I'm gonna begin with the ones on the left side I believe there are also tents yep and have your carb cleaner ready okay so we are now removing the first vanos it's just a 10 millimeter bolt. Make sure not to drop it. 
He comes out with this bracket. And now we could unplug it from the actual Vanos. There will be a plug, as you can see, mine's really dirty, so I'm just gonna take advantage and then just clean up this area as well. And since it has a lot of miles, it was a little bit of a pain to take out, but I just grabbed some pliers and kind of pulled it out. But it should look like so. Just move it kind of like in twisting motions and be careful because there will be a seal, just don't drop it. And there it is. Here's the seal. You can see how dirty this thing is. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and clean this up and do that for all four vanos. Whoops. So here we have the sensor, we're gonna get some carb cleaner and then just try to clean it as much as we can. Okay, so here's one of the other vanos. As you can see, if we try to zoom in here a little, it's really, really messed up. It's all dirty on that area. So I just ran out of carb cleaner, so I'm gonna go ahead and go get some other one from the store. But yeah, you can see all the, I just literally took it out. So that's all that dirt and debris, carb, or I'm not sure where it is, but it's just dirty. And it's also handy to have one of these around to clean the connection. So as you can see on mine, it has oil and grease on it and it just, it's always better to have it clean. Okay, so when it gets to the point to installing the bracket for the solenoid, make sure it's fully in. Uh, push it in as hard as you can. And the actual solenoid has to be flush like before. So as you can see, it's fairly in. This it's flush. And now when we put pressure into this, it's actually gonna push in on the solenoid. So I believe you don't wanna have any oil leaking from here. But yeah, let's get this tying up and go on to the next solenoid. So I couldn't really show it, but you have to make sure that you can see the seal from the side of the solenoid. Cause if you see it, that means it's not fully in. So this one's now perfectly sitting in. And like I said, pretty much the sensor has to be flush. If you look at it from the top, you're not supposed to see anything sticking out. So that's kind of like the way you know it's pushed in all the way. You're gonna hear some suction sort of like happening once you push it in. And yeah, that should be the telltale sign to see if it's fully in there. Now that we place the sensor all the way in, we can go ahead and tighten up the bracket and make sure the plug is plugged in on the sensor. So here's where I moved these hoses out of the way with just a bungee cord. And you can see we have access to the first panels on this side. It's gonna be the same, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter socket. And the other one under, we can move this and remove that right there, that bracket. I believe that one's a 10 as well, but it has to be really deep because there is a screw coming out through it. So yeah. Let's get this one out first. Okay, so this one is almost off. It's the one in the upper side. Put it aside. And the bottom one is almost off as well. It is a 10 millimeter socket. It's fairly long, so it just, I know it's hard to see, but it's right there. Just remove those two and then it's gonna be the same process we're gonna be able to remove the vanna solenoids and hopefully clean them up as well uh, so yeah my car has a lot of miles so it might be a little harder than yours but um you can see the sensor right here the vanos the solenoid i mean um you could sort of pry a screwdriver behind it and then just pull it out do it carefully don't put a lot of force to it 
But yeah, it will come out. Just, it might take a while. Okay, so these babies are finally out. As you can see, this one was the bottom one. I'm not sure what bank it was, but uh, yeah, it's fairly dirty, definitely. But the other one, holy moly, this thing's pretty bad. And I'm really hoping this is the main reason why my car is idling like crap. But yeah, let's see if this is a problem. This one was really, really a pain in the butt to remove. It's not too bad, but it's just the removal. Since it's really tight, you have to remove it sort of by the belt around this area. You have to grab it from there and pull it out because there's definitely no room to remove it from the upper portion of the car. Okay, so I went ahead and put everything back the way it was supposed to be. It's the same way that we installed it. As you can see, it is installed on this side now. I just have to put on the cover. But first, I'm going to just test it out and see if it runs better or everything at least is the way it was before. 